Block Island has just really beautiful light. You wake up in the morning, there's such clarity visually out there. And I love to be able to get out and paint. It's just so rich in color. And yet it, it's also, for me, just that personal um, freedom that I have to do my own work. So the way we've sort of divided things up was physically to have studios at the house in our carriage house and then to have our glass blowing studio and it just helped to keep our mental state separate because you function in those studios differently. We moved here thinking that this was going to be our studio and only studio um, and, and started working here and that was great and then, uh, and then I got pregnant and uh, we had our first child. And then it became obvious <laughs> that we needed to make some money. You know, it was, our nursery school bill was more than our RISD uh, tuition, so it, it kind of changed the focus of things. The painting that I do, for the most part, I, I paint outdoors for several reasons, but mostly because I like the immediacy uh, of seeing a scene and kind of responding to it in painting. It really is a kind of a personal visual diary. A lot of times if I go back and look at my work year after year, I, I know exactly where I was when I was painting this and how I felt and what kind of day. And, and I, I can feel it, it, for me, it brings back that response. Um, and I just hope that I communicate that to others when they're looking at my work. Separating the studios was really important for us because um, this really was more of our own private space. I have a studio upstairs. Jim works downstairs. The objects that I have made for the most part are functional objects. Taking very simple, commonplace objects and injecting some life, some personal interpretation into them that somehow makes them makes them special, makes them uh, more poetic, more, you know, more than just the commonplace. Liz and I met in undergraduate school. She was studying uh, graphics at Parsons School of Design and I was working on a degree in art history. Uh, we met in the summer of 1976 and have uh, been working together ever since then. We came to Providence in 1979 to study with uh, Chihuly at RISD and I got my graduate degree uh, in 1981 in sculpture. The creative part is, is here in actually making, making the model. Models are usually made in wax. You know, while certain elements of them may be made very spontaneously, the whole composition usually takes uh, you know, anywhere from a number of days to a few weeks to, to resolve. A plaster mold will be made of the finished piece and the wax is melted out of the mold and then the, the mold is ready to be put in the oven and cast with glass. These colors come from New Zealand and they're formulated specifically for this kind of casting and the quality of the glass is quite good. The, uh, the molds are put in the oven, the, the casting is actually upside down since you're casting through the base, and the billets are placed in the reservoir until the temperature is elevated in the kiln to the point where the billets melt and flow down into the, uh, into the void, which is the casting. These pieces will be heated up to 1500 degrees, held there for more or less you know, 10 or 12, 15 hours. You can see as they melt down, they puddle out, flatten out, and ideally then flow into the mold. And then at that point, there'll be a gradual cooling process over the course of about two weeks. After the two weeks is up, you take the molds out. and you're able to break them away from the glass casting without breaking the casting itself. Mm -hmm. 
there are a wide range of venues in which I've exhibited and participated in uh, exhibitions. Everywhere from uh, the public library in my hometown of New Iberia, Louisiana, to uh, the Museo Correr, which is uh, right there on uh, Piazza San Marco in Venice. I consider myself uh, a sculptor whose medium is not necessarily glass, but light. The varying densities and textural qualities in the surface of a piece carry and present the light differently. That's part of the magic that attracts me to the material that I use. Mm -hmm.